Walk Hay, the breath of the wok. It is the gold standard when it comes to any stir-fried dish. From fried rice to sweet and sour pork, wok hay is essential for the best Cantonese cooking and requires skills usually only mastered by top chefs. But what exactly is wok hay? Few chefs are more qualified to answer that question than Zhang Chiu King. He has over four decades of experience with wok cooking and earned a Michelin star for the Ming Court restaurant. Chef Zhang, tell me what is the taste of wok hay? Wok hay is a taste of the 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 taste that charred wok hay flavor comes from a process called the Maillard reaction, when high heat transforms carbohydrates and proteins into a distinctly smoky flavor. The same reaction is what makes coffee, bread, or seared steak taste so good. But what's really special about wok hay in Cantonese cuisine is that it comes to life as food is cooked in seconds on a stove that looks and sounds like a rocket engine. 炒菜嘅爐具咧係比其他菜系咧係特別嘅。我哋嘅炒菜嘅爐具咧係加咗一個誒吹風機落去，個風機咧就令到個誒爐火嘅温度咧好大大咁提高，咁而令到咧佢個可以短時間將個食物咧誒翻炒，而令到佢嘅所有水分同埋嘅油脂係封咗喺個食物入邊，而產生一個鍋氣咁嘅效果出嚟。The wok itself is also essential to creating wok hay. Its curved shape allows heat to concentrate at the bottom, and the large sloped sides make it easy to toss ingredients without spilling. The origin of the wok remains unclear, but archaeologists found iron woks among the wreckage of a ship that sank about 800 years ago during the Southern Song Dynasty, when iron working technology in China made great advances. Today, you can cook almost anything with a wok, which can be used to braise, steam, fry, and so much more. But bringing out wok hay is something still exclusive to wok cooking, and it's a skill every Cantonese chef strives for. Why is achieving wok hay so difficult? Wok hay, because it's in a low temperature situation, actually, you have to be able to decide how to cook it and how to cook it in a low temperature. 有幾多？呢、这個就係要經呢個師個粵菜師傅一個長年嘅經驗嘅訓練啦。其實呢個係一個比較難嘅烹調方法，唔係每一個菜式咧都可以會有鍋氣呢個效果走出嚟嘅。即係舉個例，譬如我哋炒斑球，因為粵菜炒斑球咧係講求嫩滑，所以咧如果你太過猛火、太過高温烹調之下咧，個嫩滑嘅效果冇咗。咁其他有咩菜式可以有鍋氣嘅效果咧？就係、是、例如誒乾炒河啦，因為乾炒河咧可以喺好高温嘅情形之下快炒，而令到啲河粉同埋嗰啲牛肉咧可以得個嫩滑同埋帶微微嘅焦香。我哋炒嗰陣時候咧係完全睇唔到鍋裏邊嘅食物係咩樣，因為太大煙咧。我哋憑師傅嘅經驗啦，同埋嘅感覺啦。誒時間要幾耐啦，先做出一個誒鍋氣嘅效果出嚟。睇下影下個鍋咧，咁高温之下做咗出嚟嘅效果係冇超底，唯有喺粵菜有呢種嘅叫鍋氣。Many Hong Kongers get their first taste of wok hay at a Dai Pai Dong. The iconic open-air food stalls around the city are what introduced Ah Chun Chan to the culinary world. Today, she is the head chef at Hong Kong's trendy Chinese eatery, Ho Li Fook. Tell us about your childhood memories of wok hay when you were growing up. 
So one of my fond memory of uh, walk is obviously like Dai Pai Dong. You know, you walk past a lot of Dai Pai Dong, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes me and my family, thank you, we we'll go to eat, you know, Dai Pai Dong. Mm -hmm. And a lot of dishes would be coming out from the walk, obviously. But for me, uh, vegetable is one that I always have passion in my mind. So like, okay, how can this Sun Yong Bak Choy, like stir fry baby uh, Bak Choy with garlic, taste so different from anything like anyone cook at home? How, how can it taste like so much better? So I think that is when I want to really understand, you know, what is walking, what they cook. You introduced actually a whole stir fry section into the Holy Fook menu. And um, why did you feel that was essential to um, Holy Fook's experience? Because I feel if anyone would want to come and try, you know, try food in Hong Kong, I think that is an essential part. No matter if it is vegetable or, or, or walk fried meat, I, I think it is one of our centerpiece. Because obviously we have barbecue section, we have a, you know, a lot of seafood is, is really good at steaming just, just to keep the natural flavor. But for wok frying, for example, we have like stir fry king in, on the menu, which is like everywhere. And this is... It's a Chinatown dish, right? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is a dish that it just has so much ingredients and it's so fresh, so fast, so light. I think that is a very good representation and a very good use of wok. That shows the, really the intensity and the understanding of you know, how you do the dish. This is Stir Fry King, which is Siu Chao Wong in, in Cantonese. This is a dish that you can see in a lot of places in Hong Kong. Uh, everybody has a different version of it. There's about 13 ingredients into it. For us, obviously, the main uh, focus is the flowering garlic chai when it's in season. You don't want to cook this dish without a very hot wok. Making sure the wok is hot, but it's covered with a layer of oil. And I'm pulling it out. And then I'm putting back a bit of oil inside. So what that does is, because I'm adding you know, garlic, chili, sun-dried shrimp, abalone. I'm adding quite a few ingredients in it, but if the oil is going to be too hot, they'll just get burned straight away. I'm also controlling the heat to turn the heat back down slightly, and then I'm deglazing it with the shell shim. And I'll turn the heat back on to really, really high, and with the tossing, you can see the flame coming up to create the first stage of the wok head. And then I'm adding in the flour and garlic chive and the peanut sprout that has been quickly blanched giving it another quick toss with intense heat, another shell shing to get all those flavour and the wok hay in the flour and garlic chives as well. I'll turn the heat back right down. A quick season, heat back on very, very fast, about three or four tossing. Towards the end of it, I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. I don't want to add it too early because otherwise it will just evaporate and then leave a very burnt taste to the wok. Another quick toss, yellow chives in, quick finish, and then the dish is ready. The flowering garlic chives in the Stir Fry King encapsulates the charred, smoky flavour while remaining fresh and crunchy. If you're still not convinced how much wok hay the dish has, watch this. It literally triggers the fire alarm. You can take a bit of me like calling the maintenance here. <laughs> After seeing the chef's amazing wok skills and the powerful stoves, it's pretty clear that it's very hard to achieve proper wok hay at home. But Archen Chan has some tips for those who'd like to give it a try. So usually if it's at home, obviously you have a small gas burner, you have a smaller wok. You really have to heat the wok really, really hot without anything first. So at least your cooking medium is getting as hot as possible. The technique of heating the wok, put oil, letting it cool, pull the oil out, and then again put the cold oil back to create that layer wow. is usually general technique of all the wok cooking. Sometimes you, you will still get a little bit of wok. And once you learn more about the wok, it opens doors to endless possibilities. Looking at the wok, it can do a lot of things. It can do frying, it can do steaming, it can do braising, even just a wok tossing skill. There's a lot of different techniques just by doing the wok itself. So there are just so many, I guess, intangible things about the wok cooking. To me, that's the magic of it.